Hello guys and welcome back to Drika Styles. It's Shandrika here and if you're not a subscriber, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and please make sure you click the notification bell so you can stay updated on all of my videos, okay? Okay, so now I want to talk to you guys about having a family meeting and why that's important. But yeah, you just have to discuss all of the things that you want your family to be in your family meeting. It's so important. And if you have to have one a few times a year, because we do have one, maybe at least twice a year, sometimes it's three times a year, whenever you feel that there's a shift going on with your family or a major change happen um, in your family, like you really have to come together and see like how this is going to affect you all. Like we grow from time to time and you just get lost sometimes in who you are and people just thinking you're the same person. And so when say if Edison say, Oh, you, cause I know you usually like this. And I'm like, I don't like that no more. I'm like, Oh, that's not my love language no more. <laughs> You know, like, you know, I'm like, I'm just growing away from that or this has changed about me or if usually he recognize something is going on. So you have to have that time and you have to see how, you know, things are going to be different from this point on. Here we talked about roles, what everybody role is going to be as far as chores. OK, so everybody got a day to do kitchen, living room and dining room, you know, and the boys got to make sure their room is clean. And so everybody have a day. So there's no excuse. We're going to divide the work up evenly. So one person or two, whoever, don't get burnt out doing every every yeah, chore. Y'all need to uh, make sure y'all keep that down there clean. Mm -hmm. So should we have like, so it should be assigned vacuum days for them and stuff? Yeah, you're okay. 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 Tell us why you're smiling, this <laughs> dude. All right, what else? So that's going to work. Everybody have a laundry day. And yes, we do make, um, even Josiah, he's seven, do his laundry. Um, we all do our own stuff. They're just independent now. So um, there's a lot we don't have to do because we just raised them that way from birth. Yeah. So um, it makes it easier for us and they just independent. So we we love it. We Y'all just don't know how convenient <laughs> that is for me not to have to say, okay, go clean the kitchen because it's already their kitchen day or go hold on let me go do your laundry go get your bag no they already know how to do it and i just love it even at seven years old he know what to do so that is amazing so some things we already had that were going to stay the same we didn't change those things but mainly you definitely want to discuss the differences and let me let the people in your house know how they're doing and so i we do encourage each other at the meeting and we do say well maybe you can work on so today we were also saying that we know elijah he likes to mock especially me he thinks my mannerisms are hilarious um remember i'm the only girl in the house so he only have me, I guess, like as a role model for a woman um, or whatever. So he just think I have the the typical girl. He say the girls at school, I act like them sometimes with my um, hand motions and stuff. So he like to come behind me even when I don't even know he's there. And so he's mocking me if I'm fussing at his brothers or something. And so he also does voices, which I think... Um, he would probably end up doing cartoons or something because all the voices he does, they are pretty amazing and somebody is going to want his voice. And if y'all know how my son talks, it's very deep. So um, I know God is going to use his voice. He don't have that voice for a reason, but he can do all kinds of voices. So um, it's just funny. And I just telling everybody at the table when he is doing that, um, don't shut him up because I know that's going to be like used for God's kingdom one day or for movies, for whatever it might be. So, and when Josiah is just cracking his jokes, we already know that he has the most, he is the most joyful person <laughs> in the world. And so we know that that too, he'll probably either be on TV down the line, guys, a comedian, I don't know, even a magician. He loved to do these things. Uh, just, I don't know. It, he just be so smooth with it. And even the stuff, as a um as parents, we know his little magic tricks and he might just hold two pennies in his hand, put it behind his back. He might either drop it and then the pennies come or whatever. And we was like, whoa, look at that and really encouraging him. Cause you never know. Everybody's not gonna have a nine or five. Josiah might want to be a clown at the circus, because that's how he act around here. And we have to let him know that's okay. People need entertainment. People will need you and whoever God has created you to be, you know? And so I know most people would be like a clown, but yeah, whatever, whatever their purpose 
you know, is we're going to support. So, and you know, Isaiah is our, um, he's our artist. He's our flipper. <laughs> he's always tumbling around here and he does so much more, but he's also an encourager. He loves to pray and he really loves to encourage people. We'll love on you. And when he gets angry though, he gets mad. And he's like, everybody know not to buy that sale when he's mad. Well, his brothers know because we're going to work it out. Okay. You got to, you can't just be stomping off to your room, but one, you better not stomp to your room. But, um, if he pulls that, and that has been some time since he's done that, I'll get up so fast because certain things you're just not going to do in our house. No, you will not. And so they'll, they'll try us sometimes. Yeah, but they get put in place real quick. You cannot let your kids, and they know they're here. I always say, well, you embarrass me, I will embarrass you. If it's at home, I'll embarrass you. Embarrass you. Or if it's at the grocery store, if it's at a park, wherever you act a fool, oh, yeah, that, that New Orleans might come out real quick in me. So, yeah, I don't play with no disrespect for children. Yeah. So, anyway, um, you just have to set the ground rules for your family. Um, hopefully, your kids follow. But I'm telling you, that place at the table, it could be in your living room. Sometimes our meetings are, most of the meetings are in the living room. We just, Edison cooked a big breakfast this morning. So, we had it at the um, table again. And it was just, it was um, pretty cool. And the meeting, because it's five of us, we started at about 1040 and we didn't end to almost noon. So, we, actually, we had a lot to say <laughs> about um, the changes that's being made. So, yeah, um, we just give everybody a chance to voice their opinion. It's just good to hear, once again, just like the dinner table where the kids are um, coming from and uh, what they're thinking and lots of encouragement because uh, we didn't get Josiah's report card. But Elijah, we had to just tell him over and over how proud of him we were. He has been trying with um, that chemistry class last year. He could not get um, an A or B in that class for nothing. And that really discouraged him. And he had physics. And last semester he had a C and he was trying his best to bring it up. So he had two A's and two B's because, you know, he's in high school, only take four classes. And he got his, he got two A's on his report card and two B's. And so he got a B in that physics. And he was so proud of himself. Um, of course, I made a big deal um, about it. That's just me. I was like so excited for him because y'all don't know. Uh, the boy been near tears, like try, trying his best to pass ooh, that chemistry last year and um, the physics, he just could not. But it's it's just amazing how when you're so positive and they're around you all day, I've seen a different, all three kids are different since they've been home with us because they get lots of encouragement here. There's nobody bullying them. We all want each other to succeed or to be their best, you know? So that's what it's like here. And we had to discuss that. And, you know, we told all of them that we're proud of them. I still wanted to make all A's, but he got one A and four B's. He was not happy with that. So, um, and it's crazy because he had like an 88, an 87. So we know he could have just had those A's. So he's going to try harder for the third semester, but it's okay. Uh, we're proud of them and we're definitely going to give them something for their good grades. So we'll see when Josiah grades come in, what it's like, but I'm sure he'll do um, great again. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about. I don't want to make this video too long, but yes, guys. Yeah, but um, everything is working out pretty good during this quarantine. I know a lot of people say it was the worst year, but it, the quarantine would be your worst if this the worst you ever been through. Like I've been through Hurricane Katrina and some other stuff. So um, this is definitely not my worst. It is traumatizing for a lot of people. And believe me, I have been, I've been seeing people um, timeline or them um, on my timeline. I see what people are posting and they need prayer and they're feeling all kinds of ways, financial problems, people dying. And so I'm always just taking the time while I'm scrolling just to pray for people. I need to pray for this person. It'd be back to back lately. So yeah, praying for my own family members. I love you all. Jesus love you too. Thank you. You're welcome. Huh? Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for allowing us to come here together as a family. Ask that you allow us to enjoy the food that's for us, for us to enjoy the rest of our day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs>